Hello guys, it's Yemi here. Today I'm going to show you how I make asun. I love asun when it's made, you know, the local way on the grill outside, enjoyed. But the thing is, you can also make it inside your house. And we're going to be using our fry pan, or we're going to be using our oven. But you still get great taste in asun. If you're interested, keep watching. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe. Let's start making this asun. We're going to add some seasoning cube. I'm using this Royco goat's meat seasoning cube. I always use it anytime I'm preparing goats because it enhances the flavor. We're also going to add some salt and then onions. And this is optional. I'm going to add paprika. You don't need to add it. Just leave it. I'm just doing too much. <laughs> now you're going to combine properly and then put in the fridge to marinate for at least three hours. If you can do it overnight, that's awesome. If you can, three hours, two hours is fine so next we're going to bring it out from the fridge and put it in a pot I'm not going to add any extra water because goat meat is going to release its own juices so you can do that for about 10 to 15 minutes I'm just going to start off the cooking process before I put it in the oven next we're going to line a tray and put it in the oven for about 30 to 45 minutes and then I'm just going to take it out and then cut them into little pieces. It's so difficult to make goat meat without just picking some and eating it. It was so good already. Next, we're going to blend atarodo and some onion, and then we're going to bring out a pan, add your goat meat, add your onion, and add the atarodo as much as you can handle. I know it looks like this is going to be very, very hot, but it really wasn't. I'm just going to be adding green pepper because I love green pepper. If this is completely optional. You do not need to add green pepper, but I'm doing the most. Now you're going to add your pepper, that's your atarodo, and just mix everything together. This dish is so lovely and one of the easiest things you can make and this is the way you can make it at home if you don't have an open fire grill outside and it will still taste good. Let me know if you try this recipe, I really really wish you would and then give me feedback. Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe. Bye!